Hello, good afternoon. I wanted to quickly address something because I'm about to take my son to work, but I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of messages from p women, especially, you know, who have had similar experiences, had a hysterectomy like I did back in 2013. And because you might see before and after pictures that I've shared and it might say 2015 to now and you're thinking, but I thought you started your journey in 2012, oh, 2011, I did. And then I had the hysterectomy in 2013. I put all the weight back on over the course of two years. I restarted my journey July of 2015. And that was all because of the hormonal um, imbalance. I was still, it wasn't like I stopped working out. I was still working out. I was still eating the way I did before, but none of it was working. And I started not having a lot of energy. So it's it's like the, the energy I used to have, I didn't have anymore. And it was literally a fight. If you can picture trying to run in, in mud or quicksand. And it's like you're putting in a lot of effort, but it's doing nothing. That's what it felt like. And so I'm getting asked, you know, help. What do I do? And so I'm saying like for myself, what helped me? Because remember, you got to find what works best for you. And so I found Dr. Barbara Hoffman, and I encourage you to find her on YouTube. She has a ton of videos on um, symptoms of hormonal imbalance and any question you have concerning menopause and things, because that put me in menopause. So I would have preferred to have gone through it naturally, you know, like when the kids are already grown and stuff. So it's like I already deal with things. I have three teenagers. And so on top of dealing with menopause, um, I'm dealing with teenagers as well. I have one that just turned 17. I have one that's going to be turning 16 at the end of this month and I have a 14 year old. So it's just, I wish I, I would have been able to um, go through it at a different times, but you know, it is what it is. But what, finding her videos was really an answered prayer and I'm so thankful I found her because I actually use her product for um, um, it's her natural progesterone cream and you she talks about that in her video so you can check that out and so she talked about low carb so the the thing that helped me I started with low carb and then eventually in 2016 so I didn't start I didn't immediately jump on and start doing the ketogenic diet which I will tell you was not popular when I started it um, but I you know researched it and just decided you know what let me go ahead and do this. And I'm telling you, my hormones thanked me. I had less hot flashes, night sweats. Um, I didn't have all the sugary cravings. And it, it was it really, truly helped me. I encourage you. There's a lot of pages on Facebook, um, low-carb pages or keto-friendly pages that have a lot of recipe ideas. You can find that on YouTube as well. Um, that's just some of the things that helped me. So I'm... It's not like I followed a specific plan. You could find, you know, um, books, I guess, you know, on the ketogenic diet. I do have a few, you know, just different things. So just do your research and just find what works for you. Now, I like the how the intensity. I know some people, it they did a keto diet and they could not, they didn't understand how I could do my strength training and go running and stuff and I tell you I do all that on an empty stomach I don't even, I don't eat prior to working out and um, it's kind of like I depend on that last meal to give me the energy I need for for what I'm doing the next morning so I just I the Lord I thank God I have the energy that I have and to be able to do this you know so you just got to find what works for you and know that you can do it um, I just wanted to share a little bit of tips, you know, Dr. Barbara Hoffman, B-A-R-B-A-R-A, -A -A Hoffman, H-O-F-F-M-A-N. And then also, if you want more information on the keto diet, I always recommend Dr. Eric Berg, B-E-R-G. And he's also on YouTube, has a ton of videos. And I think um, he, he talks a lot about intermittent fasting, which I don't do a lot of, but I'm seeing a lot of people that do keto, they, they also do that as well. Um, so I'm just saying, if you want more information on that, check it out. Um, but yeah, so I do, again, I'm getting a lot more questions on, or those that have had, had, had hysterectomies, um, they're in menopause, because I had an open abdominal hysterectomy, um, let's see, seven years ago. And it was, 
intense. You know, it was just, I no longer had a uterus ovaries and I didn't know that I was going to go through that. I thought, oh, it's great. I lost all the weight. And, but I'm thankful that I didn't give up and embarked on the journey a second time, which is why you see me sharing 2015 pictures. You might be like, I thought she already lost all the weight. I did the first time. And then I dealt with a whole new set of issues because you know sometimes you need to remember this that you might see an overweight person you don't know there it doesn't mean they're just being lazy and sitting around eating all the time eating 24 7 that is not the case sometimes it could be a medical reason why they're overweight or again like for myself my hormones were out of balance out of whack i mean it was ridiculous and it was not fun going through it but i had to go through it to learn some things about myself and to know what works and what doesn't. And you know, kind of had to relearn again. And I did, and I've kept it off. So um, I hope this kind of helps you. And you know, uh, maybe I'll do another type of video soon. It's just, it's kind of quick, sorry. I have to take my son to work in a few minutes. But you know, check those two people. I said Dr. Dr. Barbara Hoffman and Dr. Eric Berg. And she has a ton of videos on menopause and just a lot of informational videos that's really, really great. Um, I think, um, yeah, so I think that's, I encourage you to start there and still maybe walk, you know, find some things you enjoy doing um, and just go from there. Know that it is possible to lose weight that you gain from hormonal imbalance or because of being in menopause. It is possible. I am living proof because I'm telling you, um, I might have pictures up so you can see. I thought, honestly, at a time I thought, I guess just because I was still working out, but nothing, all I was doing was gaining weight. And I thought, man, I guess I won't be able to lose it, I guess. Um, but I didn't give up, so I'm thankful I didn't. But I wanted to show you that it is possible. You can be healthy. You can be in shape. You can be fit. You can have. You can have energy during menopause. So, um, I'll do more videos on the the subject. You know, because there's a lot more people that have, are dealing with that. So I hope this helps you guys. Stay blessed. Stay fabulous. Bye.